Welcome to this Learn Electrics video on how to complete a minor work certificate. It is after all only one piece of paper for you to complete but if you are not familiar with it then that is a good enough reason to be here. Let's start with what we actually call the certificate. The full and proper name for it is Minor Electrical Installation Works Certificate and with some written industrial exams this is the name that you must write on your answer paper. Anything less will not do. Most people though will call it a minor works certificate and this is the norm and perfectly acceptable. In writing it is often shortened to MWC or just MW and again that is okay. Apart from exams Nobody is going to beat you up over what name you use. First of all, let's look briefly at what type of work we can certify on a minor work certificate. This can be any electrical work that does not, does not include fitting a new circuit breaker or fuse. Examples would be adding a new socket to an already existing socket circuit or extending an existing lighting circuit by adding new lights. Also, any replacement of accessories or repairs that are on a like-for-like -like basis will be certified on a minor works certificate. Examples would be replacing an old 7 kilowatt shower with a new 7 kilowatt shower. Notice that the power rating remains the same. The same cables are being used and the breaker size is not being changed. Or if you are changing a broken fluorescent light in the kitchen for another new fluorescent. Work carried out in special locations such as bathrooms will need to be notified to the local authority under the Part P scheme and here at Learn Electrics we have produced a video on joining Part P schemes. Let's create a little scenario to better explain how to complete a minor work certificate. A new 13 amp socket is fitted as a spur to the ring circuit in a bedroom. So let's list what has been done. We installed the new socket. We inspected the work and the circuit. The circuit was tested and the circuit and installation all look good. There is a page of test data in our notebook so let's now fill in the certificate. A minor works certificate has five parts to it. Part one is for the description of the work being carried out and the address at which it is being done. Part 2 is for information about the earthing and bonding arrangements. Circuit details for the actual circuit being worked on go into Part 3 and test results go into Part 4. Finally, in Part 5 we enter our name, our business address etc and sign the work off. Here are the five parts shown against the arrows. Let's look now in more detail. So, in part one, we will enter the name of our customer, which may not be the same name as the resident if it is a rented property. Remember, it is the name of your customer who is paying for the work and the address at which the work was carried out. A brief description of the work done Write in the words new socket in bedroom, be specific. Don't just put something like fitted a socket. Where did you fit the socket? And list any defects or observations about any part of the installation that you may notice. For example, the kitchen lights might be damaged. The lights are not part of this job, but you need to inform the customer in writing that they might be needing attention. If you didn't notice anything, then write none. 
Part two is about the earthing and bonding arrangements. What type of earthing system is it? What is the earth fault loop impedance? Is the proper bonding in place to the installation, to the gas, the water, etc.? And is the earthing conductor connected? Circuit details are next in part three. Does the consumer unit or distribution board have its own identifying number? In a commercial installation it may. In a single occupancy house it probably will not. Where is it in the house? Under the stairs, in the garage, etc. What circuit number is it? What does the label actually say in the consumer unit? And what type of breaker is it? And what size are the cables? In part four, we will enter our test data. You should already know how to test for all these parameters, but we have produced some videos at Learn Electrics if you need a quick reminder. R1 plus R2 is recorded, or just R2 if you are replacing or upgrading the earth conductors or bonding conductors. Insulation resistance will need to be measured and recorded, as will loop impedance, polarity checks and RCD tests. Part 5 is all about you. You'll record which version and amendment of the wiring regs you are working to. Your name, your company name and business address must be entered. The customer must, after all, have some way of contacting you. Now you will sign off the work and make a declaration that the work has been carried out correctly and properly and that the installation is, as far as you know, safe to use. This is a legal and proper document. Be sure of what you are signing for. And don't forget to enter the date of signing. And that, then, is the certificate completed. Now that you've completed the minor work certificate, what do you do with it? Some certificate packs come with carbonless paper copies, and that makes life easy. Other certificates do not, and you will need to photocopy and sign a second copy, or write out a second one if a copier is not available. Some electricians use computer software to complete these certificates. Whichever method works for you is fine. One copy is for your customer, whoever is paying you for the work. Your customer should keep a copy for the life of the installation. If it is rented property, there is no legal obligation for you to give a copy to the sitting tenant. They are not your customer. The second copy is for your files and must be retained by you for at least three years. And now you know about minor work certificates and with a little practice it is an easy 10 minute task. Thank you for watching this video from Learn Electrics and we do hope that you added some more knowledge to your mental toolbox. If you click on the subscribe button below you will have access to all of our Tech Tips videos and you will not miss our next weekly upload. Typing in Learn Electrics, all one word, into the YouTube search bar from any computer will also give you access to all our videos. Well, thank you once more and we hope to see you again very soon.